Raptory by Prep. Prager U resources for educators and parents. We've got crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making an American apple pie in a microwave. Here's what you'll need. A round microwavable pie pan, this one's glass, ready-made pie crust, you can find this at any grocery store, and for the filling, you're gonna want five to seven Granny Smith apples, one quarter of a cup white sugar, one quarter of a cup brown sugar, three tablespoons flour, one teaspoon cinnamon, one teaspoon vanilla extract, juice from half a lemon, and for the crumble top, get one cup of brown sugar, half a cup quick oats, half a cup cold butter, and a microwave. Make sure you have a grown up around to help. Now I know this is a lot, but trust me, it's gonna be awesome. What's that? We've got a question. Why do people say as American as apple pie? Was apple pie created in America? Good question. The answer is not really, but sort of. <laughs> A lot of people see apple pie as representing the American melting pot, which means that people come to live in America from all over the world. And apple pie ingredients come from different parts of the world. Apples come from Central Asia, cinnamon from South Asia, sugar from Polynesia. All these ingredients were transported to Europe during the colonization era, and the Europeans who settled in America in the 1600s brought apples and recipes for apple pie with them. The first known cookbook in America was published in 1796 called American Cookery by Amelia Simmons. It featured recipes for apple pie and made the dessert popular during the 1800s. 100 years later, American soldiers would often say they were fighting for mom and apple pie during World War II. Okay, you ready to start making ours? Let's go. Let's start with placing the pie crust into your microwave-safe pie dish. Go ahead, place it in here, press it in gently. And if you want, you can kind of make it kind of fancy on the edges. Now, take your fork and score the bottom and the sides. That means poke it with a fork. This lets it cook in the microwave a little bit easier. Now you're gonna microwave this on high for five minutes and let it rest while you make the filling. Five minutes, <laughs> five minutes. Five minutes. Let's check our crust. Okay, it's hot so you gotta be careful. This is when you need a grown up to help you take it out of the microwave. Okay, it's nice and cooked. While we let this rest and cool off a little bit, we're gonna make the filling. And yes, you will need a grown-up's help with this too. Peeling apples. Ta-da! After you peel, time to slice. Nice, thin slices if you can get it. Beautiful. Mix all the filling ingredients in a microwave safe bowl with the sliced apples. Microwave on high for two and a half minutes. Take it out, give it a stir, then continue cooking it for another two and a half minutes. One quarter cup white sugar, one quarter cup brown sugar, three tablespoons flour. One, two, three. One teaspoon cinnamon, one teaspoon vanilla extract, Juice from a half a lemon. <laughs> so we're gonna stir it. it. Smells so good. Speaking of apples, have you heard of Johnny Appleseed? Johnny Appleseed is famous for planting over 100,000 square miles of apple orchards across Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois during the time when America was a brand new country. His real name was John Chapman, and he lived from 1774 to 1845. His father fought in the American Revolution. 
Johnny traveled with thousands of seeds down the Ohio River and planted orchards on unsettled land. Now, we aren't really sure why he did this back then. Some say he wanted to help settlers. Some say he did it to earn money on the land he planted on. Whatever the reason, Johnny Appleseed is known as one of America's earliest, most famous farmers. All right, add the cooked apples to the pie crust and then make the crumble top mix. Ta-da! Last, we're gonna make the crumble top. Mix the dry ingredients together and then smash in small pieces of cold butter. Half a cup quick oats, one cup brown sugar, half a cup cold butter. Just smash it. Ta-da! Back to the microwave one more time for five minutes and you're gonna wanna check halfway through because every microwave is different. It's hot, but we did it! So you're gonna wanna let it cool for several minutes and then enjoy. That's it, we're done. 15 minutes in the microwave for an American apple pie, a melting pot, if you will. Now be careful, you're gonna wanna let it cool. Let's see if I can get this out in a slice. And even if it's not in a slice, it's okay. Ah! <laughs> a little spilly. It's hot. It worked. It totally worked. As American as apple pie. We hope you had fun. It was actually really good. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way and send us your pictures if you make this. Keep creating, keep baking, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. Bye guys. Who wants some? It's actually really good. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.